We're going to be changing the front brake pads. This is uh, obviously going to be done on a front end which already has a Galfer oversized kit. Regardless with or without the bracket, it doesn't really matter. The first thing we want to do is we want to remove the caliper and we're going to loosen up these two bolts right here. Next thing you want to do is you want to loosen up the pin that holds on to the brake pad itself inside of the caliper. We've already loosened it up for purposes of the video, but you just loosen this pin up. And right there, you're going to find a hex, Allen, and uh, that's the one that we're going to just, again, loosen up a little bit and remove the pin from the brake pad itself. You remove the stock brake pads and replace with brand new pads. Sometimes at this point, it's always good to look at your pistons and your caliper. In this case, this is a brand new bike, barely used. Um, the pistons are in good shape. But if you were to have any kind of dirt, mud, dust, or grime, some brake cleaner, maybe a toothbrush, and clean the pistons off a little bit, you can push the pistons out a little bit by pumping onto the brake lever. That's going to allow for you to see more of the piston area. Once the piston and the caliper is nice and clean, you want to push the pistons back inside so that you have perfect and the most amount of capacity of space. And you're going to get the brand new brake pads and reinstall them. When you're going to install the new pads, you want to make sure that the pin and all the shims and everything are properly positioned. You're going to push the pads right inside again and line up the pin once again right inside the brake pads themselves. You're going to want to tie up the pin and if you can use a little bit of lube on the pin itself when you tighten it back up just so that you're doing it nice and smooth and all the pieces are always kept in good shape. We're going to go ahead and tie that pin again. You want to separate the brake pads a little bit one from the other so that you have enough space to slide the rotor back in or the caliper back onto the rotor. In this case we've already pushed the pistons down as I was mentioning right at the beginning so that's what you're looking for nice and enough cavity now you just simply slide the caliper back inside you gotta make sure that you bolt everything up properly and uh, follow the stock OEM specifications for bolting everything else up um, as far as it matters, you know, the brake pads do not need to wiggle. They need to be nice and snug inside. And, you know, when you're riding just the beginning first, uh, I would say two or three laps, just come back into the pits and uh, check your caliper. Make sure that you have no pad binding and that everything is running properly. That's it. You should be set.